At 9.03 a.m., a second hijacked airliner, United Airlines Flight 175, also out of Boston, Massachusetts, crashes into the South Tower of the World Trade Center between floors 77 and 85 and explodes. Again, there were no survivors. All 65 passengers and an unknown number of civilians inside the building lost their lives and both buildings are now ablaze. At 9.37 a.m., American Airlines Flight 77 crashed into, into the Pentagon in Washington, D.C., sending up a huge plume of smoke. Evacuation begins immediately. The 64 passengers were killed. There were a total of 125 deaths, 55 of which are military personnel. The Pentagon was repaired within a year, and the Pentagon Memorial was opened and located adjacent to the building in 2008. At 9.59 a.m., the South World Trade Center tower collapses. At 10.03 a.m., United Airlines Flight 93 crashes in Somerset County, Pennsylvania. Passengers aboard Flight 93 began a revolt in an attempt to take back the plane as a result of the fighting in the cockpit. The flight crashed in a wooded field 80 miles southwest of Pittsburgh. At 10.28 a.m., the North Tower collapses. Please stand for the lowering of the flag to half staff in the plan of towns by Mr. Cushion, the Attorney County Band Director.
distinguished guests, teachers, students, and family, and the members of the Titan community, thank you for attending today's 9-11 Remembrance Ceremony. Please stand for the benediction given by Cadet Jalen Bowden and remain standing for the reciting of the Cadet Creed led by Sergeant Major Tanai Piggy. Let us pray. Father, we ask you to continue to heal the wounds of our nation and that you would continue to comfort and sustain the families who still suffer from the loss and cure 23 years ago. Forgive us, Father, when we give in to hatred. Make us mistress of reconciliation. Make us, us instruments not of the hate, but of your peace, O oh Father God. Make us builders and not destroy us, healers and not averages. We give thanks for this shining spirit of courage and self-giving love that emerged from the darkness of 9-11. Increase and extend our compassion for all those everywhere who are the victims of this misfortune or violence or injustice. Help us to identify for ourselves those sources of life and light that cannot be shaken by any terror and any terrorist. May we find in you, Lord, an unshakable place to stand and the courage to build and live lives of courage and conviction. Keep our hearts tender, Father, and our minds alert to the human need around us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. This now concludes our 9-11 ceremony. Yeah.